Hello and thank you for visiting my channel. I've had this variable speed drill press by WEN for approximately four years now. I purchased it in November of 2018 and it is now October 2022. Overall it's a great drill. The one thing I didn't like when I first purchased it was the base. The base was not very heavy duty. I had a Craftsman before this. Uh, luckily the Craftsman base fit this variable speed uh, drill press so I went ahead and used the Craftsman. A uh, second thing I would like is if the company would possibly have a uh, retrofit pulley kit uh, to lower the RPMs for people like me who work with steel. I really want the RPMs in the 80, 100, 150 range. So if they can make a retrofit kit at the uh, consumer's option to purchase it, get the RPMs down in the 80, 150 uh, RPM range so that we can work with steel, especially the the drills and the hole saws, the bigger drills and the hole saws, you really need the lower RPM. The 500 to 3000 that it has is pretty good, but uh, the lower RPMs would be good. The spindle, the spindle was great. Right out of the box, it had about zero run out. Now the bearings, I guess, are worn just a little bit, and it's got about uh, five to seven thousandths of run out. And if you're not familiar with run out, it's the amount of wobble within the drill. So, so I'll go ahead and give you a view from the bottom to the top and then I'll go into more detail of what I did uh, to modify this uh, drill press. Here's the bottom, here's the top. Although this is considered a bench top drill press, I, uh, I have limited space in my shop so I had to make it mobile. I purchased that mobile base there and the stand from Harbor Freight which is a store here in the United States and I also uh, modified that stand just a little bit. I narrowed it up so that it would fit the base a little bit better and then I also added a piece of metal down there on the bottom to make it a shelf to hold various hole saws and hole saw kits. The original table for this drill press is 8x8. I took a 10 inch by 13 inch by 1 half inch thick plate and then I bolted it to the existing table. I then carefully aligned the V-box so that it would be centered. After that I drilled and tapped for some 3 8 fine thread bolts. Now all I need to do is bolt the V-block in place and the round stock should be in centered. You'll see that when I set the drill down on the steel ruler there is no right or left deflection. Therefore the drill is pretty much centered. These bolts do go all the way down but for illustration I'm just going halfway. So here I'll put the round stock in. I'll put the drill down onto the steel rule. There's no right or left deflection so that's pretty much center. As long as that steel rule is level it's centered. Now for the vise. I just squirted up with the table, then I drilled and tapped for some 3 8 fine thread bolts. Now I can move the vise forward and back, then tighten the bolts to keep the vise in place. If I need more forward or back travel, then I'll just use two bolts. These are four clamping methods that I use. The steel plate is a lot better for clamping. So now for the conclusion. After owning this drill for four years, I've been really happy with it. The variable speed is really nice compared to changing out belts. This is the 4212 model, which is the 10 inch. They also make a 4214 model, which is a 12 inch. I'm not affiliated with this company, but this thing has worked out really well for me. I think if you go with the 4212 or the 4214, you'll be happy, especially with the variable speed. I right, hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching.